Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll be driving through the city of Atlanta. We'll be uh, taking 75 southbound in the HOV lane. We'll be activating FSD beta. I think I'm on 11.4 something. It's hard to keep up with these updates. But um, at any rate, we'll be cruising here um, in the HOV lane. And uh, well, I hope you enjoy this video. So we purchased our Model Y back in uh, December of 2022. Um, but we only subscribed to FSD Beta uh, as recently as May 2023. So just a few months ago, we we subscribed to FSD Beta. We got accepted, and um, so far, I mean, it's been amazing, uh, especially on these long road trips. We're actually coming back from uh, a road trip to Indianapolis, and um, I just decided, you know what? Let me let me just activate FSD Beta while I'm riding through the city of Atlanta. I did have an issue with the car uh, taking the HOV exit ramp and that tends to happen every now and then uh, because I believe you know it knows it's in the HOV lane but it automatically wants to go to the far left lane because it assumes that the far left lane is the HOV lane but in reality uh, this one's an exit and so paying attention is very important when you're using FSD um, because you know it, it's not perfect you're actually testing and providing feedback to Tesla and that's what we do we, you know whenever we disengage we try to provide feedback and let them know what the issues are and why we have to disengage but I am impressed with how far the technology has gone and where we are today um, I know two three years ago I remember telling a buddy of mine that uh, you know eventually these cars are just gonna drive themselves and uh, I think it's happening before our eyes now and you know it, there are people that don't believe in, in in the technology but it's here to stay you know full autonomous driving um, it's it's just advancing so fast that you you won't even it's just gonna become the norm um, sort of like when you know when cell phones evolved you know remember when we had and I'm not gonna go too far back in history but when we had flip phones right when the iPhone came out there are people that said hey you know I like to feel the buttons as I'm dialing now if you have a phone with a button you're you know you're frowned upon so eventually we caught on to the trend and we're in and now everyone's got an iPhone or an Android with a touch screen eventually that's what's gonna happen with these cars um, you tend to see the older generation and, and I'm not that young but even you know even people my age they're not fans of Tesla's because they one they don't understand the technology right and two you know they're just used to what they have driving an electric car now and even over the past year or two in some cities you would rarely see a Tesla right but now everywhere you go you're guaranteed to see one and so it's catching on the younger generation that's what they desire whenever we drive by like a young kid or you know even on a highway they're looking at the car and they're just in awe right and it's it's you know they're no longer like kids are no longer desiring the ferrari or the bmw or the mercedes benz they want an electric car right they just want that's what they want and so we may not see it happening but it's happening you know these cars will drive themselves and in um in certain parts of california there are cars that are out there right now without anyone driving it it's just fully autonomous and and they may be in test in the testing phase but it's it's there the technology is getting better every single day um as we drive this you know tesla is collecting data to improve and so you know we've had this since may um, which was just a few months ago, but since then we've had about three, three or four updates, and and it's just been improving. Now with with this update that we have, they are using the in, the cabin, the in cabin camera to uh, to basically detect whether or not your eyes are on the road. So before in the past, all you had to do was just keep your hands on the wheel, and then you can probably play with your phone, right? Not anymore. It knows if you're playing on your phone and um, it'll beep at you and let you know you need to pay attention. And after so many beeps, you'll get that red steering wheel, that last final warning, and it'll count against you basically. Even though you're paying for it, they don't want people that are gonna abuse it at the end of the day. And so they'll they'll kick you out the program and that's just what it is. I mean, my, my wish is that each and every one of you could experience this full self-driving uh, feature. It just, it'll blow your mind. You could literally push a button and tell your car 
to take you to work or take you to church or take you to the restaurant and it'll do it and it'll do it safely in the meantime it's still developing it's it's they're working out some kinks and it's and it'll take some time for it to get to where it needs to be but um, it's happening and it's happening fast. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, we have a lot more videos coming. I have a, a few road trips that I'm still editing at this time. So um, just remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. If you did not like this video, please share it in the comments. You know, the feedback is always a good thing. So we try to make videos that we like, but at the same time, we want to make videos that you like and that you enjoy and that you want to watch and come back and, and just binge watch, right? So. If you have any suggestions or anything that you'd like to see, just let us know. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.